So we're on the Grand Western Canal, just outside of Tiverton, and we're at Greenway Bridge, and we're going to walk that way up to the Swing Bridge, which we want to show you. When describing his progress in a report, canal designer John Rennie said that building the canal at Halberton has been the most difficult and expensive piece of work of its kind on the canal. Partly because it was difficult rock to cut through, but mostly because he had to make an expensive correction. His original plans had put the canal running through the heart of the village. In November 2012, after a significant period of rainfall, part of the canal collapsed near Holberton, spilling out into a nearby field causing several homes to be evacuated and quite a few fish suddenly found themselves out of water. The Environment Agency and members of the Tiverton Anglers Club rescued some 400 fish in total, whilst a further 3,000 were re-added to the canal in the summer of 2013. It took just under two years, but in March 2014 the canal was officially reopened. So we're on the Grand Western Canal and behind me is Foss End Bridge, so getting towards the end of the canal we're just going to take a bit of a detour up the disused tramway which is now a public footpath. Have a look. The connection between the Grand Western Canal and the Bridgewater and Taunton Canal opened in 1838. This 13 mile stretch of water was half the width of the Tiverton to Loadsworld section, but was still big enough to be used by tugboats. Tugboats were unpowered vessels, about 6 metres long by 2 metres wide, and designed specifically for carrying cargo. Most were built to hold up to eight tons and could be tied together in groups, forming a kind of train. They were often pulled along by horses. So we're at the far end of the Great Western Canal. This is Lodewell's Lock behind me. We started off down at Tiverton and now we're almost up as far as Wellington which is where the canal stops. At one time the lock was operational and the canal continued all the way on up towards Taunton. But as you can see the lock's long since disappeared and the canal has silted up. Even where I'm standing it's only about one or two feet deep so you wouldn't be able to get a boat up here. 
This is quite a handy map. So you can see today we've done this section of canal. And in some earlier episodes, we did the Bridgewater and Taunton Canal. And obviously between these two points, the intention was that the two canals would have met. You can also see here the old Chard Canal, which joined the Bridgewater and Taunton at Creech St Michael. And this is the other side of the lock. Looking at it, I think the canal would have dropped in height, not by much, but by some. You can see where the old lock gates would have fitted. You can see where the old uh, sluices would have gone. And north towards Taunton. to see more, please do hit the subscribe button and why not tap on the bell to receive notifications for when the next video is uploaded. It really means a lot to us.